Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about anterior pelvic tilt, the dreaded anterior pelvic tilt and why I think it is not correlative with uh, reality and science. So we know that studies have shown that when you go into flexion of the spine, you will have a posteriorly directed disc herniation, right? McGill and many others have shown this with caliber studies and so on. And furthermore, we know that virtually all disc herniations are posteriorly directed. So if we follow the evidence of biomechanics, we know that this is what happens. We get chronic anterior compression of the disc, and of course we get the disc herniation uh, protruding backwards. So this cannot occur if we are in anterior pelvic tilt. If we are in anterior pelvic tilt, we will have the compression on the posterior part of the disc, and if anything, it would protrude forwards. But it does not. How many times have you seen a forward protrusion of a disc in the lumbar spine? Huh? How many times? Can you honestly answer that you have seen it? Well, I have never seen it and I think it's very rare. Furthermore, we know that the studies show that the muscles that extend the spine, not those who flex it, but those who extend the spine, they atrophy, they degenerate in people who have chronic low back pain. And would we not expect if we were in excessive arching, excessive extension, that these muscles surely would not atrophy. But still we see this, we see the QL, the psoas, the multifidi and so on, they atrophy in people with chronic low back pain. So why is this? Well, I will tell you my opinion. My opinion is that they, tip, they pull the pelvis in and they hang backwards with the chest and you get the illusion of a lumbosacral uh, arch, but in reality it's a thoracolumbar arch, it's a mid-back arch, and how many people injure the mi their mid-backs? Well, not that many, we don't see so many injuries there. However, we see that most injuries are in the L4, L5, L5S1 region, the region that is more proximal to the pelvis and of course more uh, affected of pelvic alignment. Furthermore, other studies show that reduced sacral, sacral uh, tilt, reduced sacral extension is uh, correlated with and associated with a higher degree of, um, of uh, this degeneration and so on. And I can link some of these studies if you want. I have written about this in the article several times. But my main point here is to, say, uh, is to show that we cannot blame anterior pelvic tilt for the chronic low back pain epidemic that is haunting us all. Uh, we simply cannot. Lack of uh, pelvic extension is the cause, in my opinion. I've seen this in my experience many times and also dealt with it and cured lower back pain many times by this approach, by uh, properly aligning and establishing a proper lumbosacral arch in the, in the pelvic area so that they basically pull the patient back up. They have to use their say, lumbosacral erectors in posture and they have to stay there permanently and learn to bend and walk like that and so on. And it's, in my experience it's very very effective and, and it also makes sense from a biomechanical standpoint. So I want to talk a little bit about this. I hope that uh, it makes sense what I've said. If you have any questions please just post it in the comment below and have a nice day.